There's a tail of the tape. A year between them. The uh, height and reach with the champion. Makiba came in light, actually, at 8, 12, 11, but he probably is the bigger man of the night. Makiba's been around eight years. Asiku for six. Pretty similar there on the experience. Asiku with the power, and particularly, as we saw with Callahan early. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the officials appointed for this contest by the Commonwealth Council in association with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Mr. Fred Potter, the timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Barry Pinder, the judges scoring the contest on the 10 must system, Mr. Howard Foster, Mr. Marcus McDonald, and Mr. Mickey Van, all of England. And when the action begins, the third man in the ring this evening, the referee from Preston, Mr. Phil Edwards. Welcome to viewers joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night from Everton Park Sports Centre here in the city of Liverpool, where tonight Barry Hearn for Matchroom Sport, sponsored by PokerMillion.com, proudly presents tonight's main event, a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the featherweight championship of the Commonwealth. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the black trunk true with white. He hails from Birkenhead and weighed in at eight stone, 12 pound, 11 ounces. Comes to the ring with a 24 fight record, 18 wins, five wins by way of knockout with five losses and one draw. He's a former British featherweight champion and a challenger for the title tonight. Please welcome Birkenhead's very own, Jamie. And across the ring in the red corner stands the champion wearing the fawn trunks uh, trimmed with gold. Uh, he fights from Uganda and weighed in at the championship limit of nine stone exactly. He comes with a 22 fight professional record, 19 wins, 10 wins by way of knockout with three losses. He's the current featherweight champion of the Commonwealth, making the first defense of his title tonight. Please welcome Action Jackson Aziku. <laughs> the referee, Mr. Phil Edwards, now will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you both. Follow my instructions at all times. When I tell you to break, break cleanly and take a step back. Watch the heads in close. Touch gloves, good luck. 12 three-minute rounds for the featherweight championship of the Commonwealth. Plenty of questions set to be answered tonight. Two proud warriors clashing for the Commonwealth featherweight crown. How good will Jackson Asiku prove to be in his first defense? Did the obliteration of Mark Callahan flatter him? And is Jamie McKeever able to cope at this uh, level? One thing's for certain, it surely should be exciting while it lasts. McKeever, for one, Glenn, is never in a dull fight. No, he's not, but he's got to get into this fight. He's got to try and settle and work his way in. Not get caught early as Mark Callahan did. He needs to just be busy early on, McKeever. Yeah, Callahan came in straight lines and was uh, done over by body shots, unhinged by the uppercut. And uh, Asiku already trying to target the midriff of McKeever. Good left hand, and the Liverpudlian felt that. Well, we can see already how calm and cool as Siku is with his boxing, he's got that nice rhythm, picking every shot out, lovely. Oh, head and body, McKeever's down Two, in the opening minute. Three, four, Desperate trouble, five, six, counts at six, seven, there's the power of a Siku. And is it gonna be another one round demolition? Well, he's gonna have to protect that, that body. He's been hurt there, Asiku targeting that, that area. Only time McKeever's been stopped in his career was on body shots against Craig Doherty. 
Left hook from Asiku, who looks strong, and a right hand Two, over the top. Three, Floss Makiba, second four, time in the round, five, looks at his corner. Six, so brave. Seven, eight, he wants to fight on. But this is really a different league, as he's finding out cruelly. Well, it's still just under a minute to go, so there's plenty time. And Makiba needs to survive in there. This is very bad moments. Right hand. Philip was taking a close look. And again, can't miss him, Asiku. Well, doesn't waste a shot, does that? Asiku really is very accurate, very powerful. And Makiba's just there to be hit. Where has this man been hiding, Asiku? As Makiba tries to dig in, but Phil Edwards has seen enough. And with 20 seconds left of the first round, it is another quick-fire win for Jackson Asiku, who emphatically defends his Commonwealth featherweight title. Is this guy world-class? Well, he certainly is. The way he's performing recently, the win over... Mark Callahan and uh, this great win over Jimmy McKeever certainly is a, a level up. And um, I think you know, he's in, he's got to be in the world ranking soon. He's very, very good. He's got three defeats, Asiku, but all in very good company and experience. It is the sixth defeat for Jamie McKeever, who loses his efforts to win the Commonwealth title and he was never ever involved twice in a row Asiku has done that to British fighters yes it's the manner of the the defeat he really was taken apart McKeever pinpoint punching and really going through with the, the combinations look at body head it's left it's right and then down and you know then the straight shot right through the middle and very good punches. Second knockdown. It's the body punching that's going in. The hands are coming down. He's hurt at this point, and then it's that looping right hand. Gets it a little low with a body shot, looking for the, the gap there, but then just steadies him up, and it's a crunching right hand to the side of the head. Was this the perfect time to call a halt? Well, he was under terrible pressure, but it's a control pressure, isn't it? You know, he does look very, very dangerous. And a, a good fighter, Jackson Asiku. And I think he's going to be one to watch. He's really learning his trade now and coming on leaps and bounds. Another... Great win for Jackson Asiku, and who over here can live with him? Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 35 seconds of the first round, in the interest of Jamie McKeever's own safety, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, and still featherweight champion of the Commonwealth, Jackson Aziku. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciations, Jamie McKeever. I'll now ask the security guard, Fred Bonner, to present the Olympic to the fellow champion of the Commonwealth. And as ever here in Liverpool. A tremendously sporting reception from a knowledgeable crowd who may think tonight they are watching something exceptional in this man.